Hi boys and girls, um, this is an hour long special due to me um, not uploading any of this recently. In fact I haven't even recorded this game recently so the main idea is that this is an hour long special. Uh, I'm going to try and extend each of the Fallout episodes to around about 40 minutes now due to just how long this series is going to drag if I don't do that. Um, and plus it's to do with the space on my laptop. I've got so much footage of Fallout 3 that if I extend um, the video time it means I get more of the clips out of the way with and I can delete them as soon as they're uploaded. So um, that means that there's more room for more Fallout 3. This is going to be a series which I am going to complete. I need to emphasize that. I know that um, I said I haven't uploaded it recently but that's been due to many different reasons. But yeah, I will complete this game along with many other side quests. I've got so much content in this game and I'm not going to waste it. So, enjoy. Okay. Okay, this time. This time. I am going to use the assault rifle. And take cover from at least over here. We're clear out here. Stand down. We are Who not clear out here. Always count on my father to send the best. You're telling me. Well, another mess cleaned up. We'll sweep the perimeter and be inside shortly. Hang on, sorry. Did, did, I'm sure I put subtitles on. Yep. They just don't want to be there. Oh god. It's run away. Oh no, it's coming back. Oh god, we run out of ammo. Hang on. Um. For it. Right, let's finish it off. Come on. That's a fire hydrant. Okay, I'm not doing that again. I guess it's my turn to thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. 
I'll take that if we don't try to keep them. Do do do. I forgot she could tell me well. what she. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. What? Okay, let's do this. Wait, hang on. What was the optional thing? Retrieve the fat man. Oh yeah, it's that thing which I picked up before I died before. Um, Have a good ash day. Right. So I guess I was supposed to use the fat man on the dude. Looks like it's all clear. Unlocking up. Oh well, let's get this quest underway. Welcome to the Galaxy News Radio Outpost. I'm sorry. This. I. Well. Uh. Sure. I want to ask one of these guys to train me uh, for the power armor. Yeah. Thank Finley at your serve. Okay. Let's just go up and talk to Free Dogger Baby. An option will pop up later. Hello. What else can I help you with? Oh, I've already talked to you. Suit The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. <laughs> hey, when you're in the good fight, you gotta always dazzle him. I always say, always dazzle him and spread the word. Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the capital wasteland. All that brick and rock, a whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day, fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too, and aim to take it by force. They can't, not against those kind of enemies. They just run away and hide, or they stay and die. It just ain't right. So that's where I entered the picture. I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The sound of truth goes out across the capital wasteland. Hell, 
Someone's got to counter that bullshit on the Enclave Station. Oh, I have plenty of enemies that would love nothing more than to put a bullet between my eyes. The only thing keeping that from happening is Sarah Lyons and the Brotherhood of Steel. We brokered a sweet deal. They keep me from taking a dirt nap, and I keep a strong roof over their head. From what I saw, they were the ones who saved your ass. They keep the ruins super mutant free so people like you can get to people like me in one piece. Without them, we'd be knee-deep in muty shit. Sorry. I'm so used to talking to an audience that can't answer, I just assume you want to hear my voice all the time. So, you want to know where your dad is? Fair enough. We got one rule in the good fight, though. You want help, you gotta contribute. You want to find your dad. And it just so happens, his location is known to yours truly. He was here, the Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're gonna have to contribute to the good fight. I like what you're saying, but this is bigger if you- Damn it. Good, cause this is- Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of DC can hear. You see some brain. It is. All right, let's do this. <laughs> yep, we have to go and do stuff now. Shut eyes. Uh, comprehension. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going back to Megaton before I do anything else. Maybe wondering, Scott, why are you going back to Megaton? You've got all this stuff to do. It is because um, I can deactivate the bomb now. Which I've been waiting to do for a while. So if we just jump back. See what that thing is first. So we have to go to the Museum of Technology, which we have to do at one point anyway. So now this is where I'm going to start taking a break from the main quests and start doing all the side quests and megatons because one of the uh, Book relate quest requires us to go um, to the museum anyway. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you need something? He is coming with the clouds and em Hang on, first of all. I shall be blind with Okay. There we go. It is glory. Every year shall be stricken death to hear What quest was that? The thunder of his voice. 
I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Cute. Take care now. So yeah, that's why I didn't accept the caps. Because he gives us this place. In which I shall show you now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. Oh. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Yep, I did all of that just to get some water. <laughs> now it's because we got this as well. Nice, lovely brown. Right, let's just rest up. Hello, butler. There he is. Smart man is a bandage only happens. Okay, let's go talk to Moria. A traveler, eh? Stop. What's up? Let's go talk to him, see what happens. It is so good to see you again, dear child. <laughs> uh -huh. I just gotta go up to him and say, yeah, deactivate the bomb. <laughs> hey. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did! Well, all right! Tell me all about it. <laughs> it's very hard for me to uh, talk my way past the many people shooting. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, I guess the dangers around those old supplies keeps it from being smooth sailing. Otherwise, they'd have already been looted, huh? Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. The taste kind of grates after a while. Oh, uh, and take, uh, take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, um, better. Yay. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. 
Oh, well, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. <laughs> oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. So yeah, we are going to step into loads of radiation. And you guys may know where I'm going. A certain little bomb is calling. Repair 30, I have to keep that in mind. Let's do this. Come forth and drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of ab Adam's glory. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so after whoops, after that short little whoops, hang on, after that short little montage, I think we're about ready to go and uh, deliver our second body <laughs> with radiation poisoning to uh, Moira. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter. <laughs> I'm about as radiated as I can get without winning the whole floor. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. Putting on a brave face like that. Well, don't worry. It'll all be better. And it's for a good cause. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, oh, but, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. Exciting, isn't it? Tap it. Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. 
Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Boris' experiment has an expected side effect. Now when you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Ooh. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Bye. Ugh. Sorry about that. Anyway, welcome back. We are now going to Minefield, which... Um, <laughs> for the atmosphere of um, the wasteland, especially the DC wasteland, it fits in really well with some with the apocalypse vibe. I mean, I know DC's just in ruins and all that, but think of uh, I can't remember what his name is, the black guy in. Walking Dead, who sets up the entire town full of bombs. Think of that guy. Well, bombs and uh, booby traps and stuff. Think of that guy. Yeah, we're going to visit um, an alternative version of that guy. So, that's going to be fun. It's one of the reasons why I'm hyped up for this bit, because he's got a proper good sniper or rifle on him. Hang on, I've got an itch in my ear. Yeah, it's got a proper good rifle on him. Which I need to get because it's annoying. Okay, so let's see where we have to go. It shouldn't be too far. Okay, scratch that. It is a bit far away, isn't it? Um, we're gonna head there anyway. We haven't done any of the other side quests yet, just realised. Well, well, before I continue on with the main story, we're gonna get as much as Megaton done as possible. Because that house right there with the green bits are pointing at the cursor, if you will. Uh, we need to go there at one point. In fact, we'll just pass through it. I'm not going to enter it or anything like that, but I'm going to pass through it. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president. Mm hmm. For America. Boom! Dun 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 dun. Oh yeah. Uh, some of you guys may remember. Uh, we've got mutation now. We're basically, if we get a certain amount of radiation poisoning and we get crippled, our limbs will automatically regenerate, which is both gross and cool at the same time. Letter from Voltec. Cool. Sorry about that lag. Um, I just downloaded something. In fact, not yet. 
bit later on, later on in the main quest anyway. Uh, the Vault 101 radio should reappear. We need to go in there at one point, I just realised. Let's continue with this quest for now. One of the perks on this game um, allows you to get um, all of the landmarks, which would be incredibly useful for me. And we'll just take your head off. Whoa! Right, I'm trying to remember if there's like a quick way around this. We could just walk around. However, could risk it. Let's risk it. Oh! There we go. So yeah, um. I should get the main quest. Uh, I'll when I upload it because I haven't uploaded part one yet. Uh, when I upload it, I'm going to signify um, what quests I'm doing and um, which what which episodes are like story quests and which episodes are like you know side quests. Because, in reality, the story quest parts shouldn't take too long to do. If anything, at the most, they should be like... I forgot about that. Hang on, we were supposed to see you ages ago, you bugger. They're supposed to be hanging outside of the uh, Vault 101. I wonder, I wonder why they weren't there. Anyway, yeah, um, I will like notify which parts are story based and which parts are side quests and, you know, anything else I happen to bump into, like, I go to a, a certain location or like that. Because when games like Skyrim, when you get quests and all this sort of stuff, that's all well and good, but you also get, like, you make notes of locations that are, that you don't need to go to but you can do if you feel like it which I thought is pretty cool whoa you came out of nowhere where is it Yeah, in case you didn't realise, I'm not with the Enclave. Oh. I love the quick save feature in this game because you need to save a lot for a lot of games and the quick save feature saves you a lot of time. What is that? Oh, it's another boat fly. Must be high on radiation then, or we are near. Actually, there are, there are vultures. I realise. Um, Do you have any bot caps or anything like that? You did. Okay. I also realised that I had the DLC installed, which I may do um, either after the main quest or in break in, in breaks from the main quest, like this, because I've done a good um, three hour no 
yeah, three hours last time. And um, I've recorded around about three hours today. I'll probably do a bit more today. And including this bit here, well, not including this bit here, uh, because I've done about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so of me just <coughs> not. Oh no, I'd say longer than 15. Hi oh god, I'm just gonna shoot this guy in the face. Um, I, <coughs> where did you come from? God damn it. There we go. I doubt they have anything important on them. What's over there? I'm wondering where uh, Robocorp is because that is a place I want to avoid for now. Because that's for like much later on. Oh look, that's where we need to be. We have to be careful here because there is a guy with a sniper. Or a very good rifle. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, we're getting close to the mines. Which we need to look out for because we need to deactivate one and bring it back to Moira. Or Myra, or however you pronounce her name. They are tiny, so you have to keep a lookout for them. Here we go, it should be around here now. I am getting nervous. There's one. We did it! And we leveled up. Right, we want repair really, don't we? Um, let's do that. And l let's increase our speech. And small guns. That. Where is he? I can already hear him. Where is he? He's up there. Ow.
really want to get to him. Thank God for the power of saving. for that. Right, I'm definitely getting his gun. Good for him. Maybe I'll up one more uh, layer. There he is. So what he has he has um a home in Megaton or something like that? Would make sense. Hang on, what's the key I picked up? Super duper farm seed Ridgefield key. That house would make sense. Oh! Forgot about the mines. God damn it. So, what is this? Oh, this is his house. Lots of books. Sword of shotgun. Hell yeah.
Oh. Oh. Someone he knew? Hello. You don't look very nice. What can we leave here? There we go. Let's head back. Right. I can't remember how many chapters there are in the book. I don't think there are that many. Hey there. Evening. I mean, I shouldn't think there are that many. Just because I can barely see. I have to make, I'm wait for Warrior to open up. There we go. So she opens up at 8, no, at 8 o'clock. Each and every morning. Oh, says hello. not to talk to strangers. Oh, she's feeding them. Yeah? What do you want? I never noticed you here before. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? <laughs> Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. I have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. There we go. Let's stop. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? 
mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay, let's do this. See? Of course, you know, she had to. Do all oh, this. I can't wait. Wow, it repels them that much? I can't. <laughs> On this. I have a Wait. Feeling a bit ho Well then Okay, let's start selling our stuff, right. Uh yep. Good hunting! Thank you. So... Oh, we're done. Yeah, we can move around again. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Fallout 3. Um, in the last episode... And in this episode... We need to go to the sewers and test out uh, a repellent. There's a... where's that? Nope, not really. Um, any other quest we can do? Yes, there is actually. Let those who dwell here in his favored land attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. I know that um, I have to go there by the main quest anyway, by the main story, but should we get there? More attention to what you're doing. It's not that kind of bar, stranger. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. 
Interested? Sure. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Now this. I see how far away it is. I can never actually complete this quest. I could never find where I suppose to deliver the message, right? So we go here. But yeah, I've never actually completed this quest. For the simple reason that each time I tried to, I could never find uh, where I was supposed to go because you get there and uh, something happens which we will see. Now this area of the game is probably one of my favourites because it actually feels like a wasteland. You know you've got all those massive motorways and stuff. Well, we are about to walk over a long running one. See, it spreads all the way around. I keep combat at a low during this playthrough. The less people have to kill the better, because it means the less chance I die and I have to redo every goal all over again. Actually, that reminds me. How far away is this west? It's all the way up here. Wait till uh, I'm a bit stronger before I enter any DLC quests. Considering that one's all the way up over there, it takes a very long time to get there. And as much as I like the quest, I not really want to do.